And it is the first day of the new month, so I just wanted to show that this is the month when things really, we really settle into uh, that cool down there. 67 is usually the average high temperature for the first day of October, which is what we're seeing with the low being 45, pretty close to what we're seeing tonight as well. By the end of the month, highs are typically in the 50s with lows in the 30s. This is also the month where snow averages return. We also see an 84 minute loss of daylight. These are your averages here in the Madison area through the month of October. October also is my favorite time of the year because of playoff baseball. The Brewers take on the Mets this afternoon. If you are heading to that game, just know you're going to need that jacket. Even with temperatures in the 60s, it's that wind that's going to get you right. Temperatures are in the 50s and 60s through the game. A few clouds here and there at AmFam Field. Wind gusts up to about 30 miles an hour, though, especially early on in the game. So definitely make sure uh, you at least have a layer or two with you. We've got a lot of sunshine right now across the southern part of the state as we zoom out cold front has passed over the region and we expected rain to really form to our east, which it has done over towards Michigan. We stay dry. Now high pressure sets in behind it. Let's take a look at what happens over these next couple of days. We're breezy and cooler. A few extra clouds, I think, as we go into the later hours today into tonight, but temperatures are still going to be able to cool into the lower 40s. Wind chills will be in the 30s as you're heading out the door tomorrow morning. So just know you are going to need those layers to begin Wednesday. You likely won't need them by the end of the day, though, as we'll see more sunshine tomorrow. High temperatures will be back near about 70 degrees, but we are tracking another cold front. I don't think this one cools us down as much, but it does. You'll, you'll, you will feel that difference, especially as we head towards Friday. I do think Thursday still gets into the mid 70s there with this cold front passing over us Thursday night. It looks like Thursday night into Friday. And with that system there, there's a tiny chance we could see a couple of showers. This is your newest future track here. Could see a couple of showers. This would be late Thursday night into early Friday morning. Likely not really going to pick up measurable precipitation there, but you could wake up to a couple of those raindrops on the pavement Friday morning where we will be a little bit cooler again. Highs on Friday in the lower 70s and your jet stream here. This forecast is a really good job of showing those cool downs. So what we're watching this time of year, a lot of people have asked, when are we going to a really cool down? When is it actually going to feel like fall? And really that all depends on the polar jet stream. It kind of it keeps going up and down, right? So things are still going to cool down as we head towards Friday and it looks like into early next week as well but not officially. We, really, we need that jet stream to move officially to our south. I don't think that happens for the next couple of weeks. I, I do think we'll still see highs in the 70s. We've got a couple of 60s on the boards there as well. I don't think we really cool down until uh, closer to Halloween or so, but uh, this week not looking too bad. A little rain chance Thursday night. Highs are in primarily the 70s. You got it.